Hello everyone, it is Rose and Quartz here and welcome to another speed build by yours truly. So it has definitely been a while <laughs> and for that I apologize, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to like kind of keep disappearing on you guys, especially since I have been actually really active and then I suddenly just kind of like flaked on you guys and for that I kind of apologize. Things have been a little bit hectic in my life kind of right now in terms of things that I'm doing. Um, actually this is going to be one of the busiest weeks for me this summer but I'm kind of just... I'm sticking it out. I'm trying to get some videos for you guys and not to mention I've been trying to like quell that like non-motivation feelings that I've been getting lately and um but I'm trying to move past it and I'm trying to like do some builds for you guys especially since I've been getting such amazingly positive feedback from you guys. Um I can't believe like the um surge in um subscribers that I've been getting. Um, I think like the last time I checked I was at 58 subscribers um, compared to like my last video that um, my last speed build video where I was actually at like I was saying like oh thank you guys so much for 50 <laughs> and especially since I haven't been doing a lot of videos um, it's it's a huge kind of like surprise for me <laughs> and again I just wanted to thank you guys so much I think I do that in every video but um, again I just want to congratulate well, not like congratulate myself. I am congratulating myself, but <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys because it does really mean a lot of lot to me. And it's amazing knowing that there are people watching and who are loving my builds, liking what I do, and it's and it's it's really helped. It's really helped, <laughs> especially since in the last particular build that I did for you guys. Um, sorry if there's any abrupt cutting. I don't know why it's being kind of weird, but um. Um, yeah, just like I was saying before, um, especially with like my last build, um, I think that was the modern studio build. I actually was not even going to upload that build, which is, it's really funny because that's actually one of my most popular builds now. I don't know why it's getting a lot of traction, but I'm, I'm for it. I'm always for it. <laughs> and which is pretty great. Um, a lot of people have been kind of saying that they're like, I think one commenter said that I really inspired them, which kind of blew me away because it doesn't feel like that's something, you know, like you don't hear that every day, right? So it's it's been really nice hearing such like really supportive comments and um, it's just, it's been awesome and I wanted to thank you guys for that and um, I don't know, I just, I love waking up and seeing um, the new comments each day and being like, hey, I love your builds, can't wait to see more and I'm like, thank you, I'm gonna get more out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I actually have quite a few builds prepared. Um, I'm hoping to do a few um, voiceovers today. I have actually quite a bit of stuff today. Um, I'm actually taking, finally taking my driving lessons this week. And basically the company that I'm going with is like, hey, here's 10 hours of homework that you got to do before class. And I'm like, ah, because I've only have like two or three hours of it done so far. And um, yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, I have quite a few videos to share with you guys, and I'm hoping to get a, quite a few of the um, builds done and voiceovers done just so that I can share them with you guys this week. And um, be prepared. I Even though I'm doing this video first, there is a massive build that I'm going to be doing for you sometime this week. Um, I already have it done. I'm probably going to be doing the voiceover for it soon. And, basically, I'm super excited for it, and I hope you guys are super excited for it, too. It's one of the biggest builds that I've done. And, yeah, that's my little teaser. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, particularly one of the things that it really inspired me with this build is um, actually like a recent like kind of like horror movie that I watched. Well, it's not like a horror movie. It's more like a thriller, like um, at least to me anyways. I guess to other people it might be a horror, but um, you know. <laughs> but it's actually a post-apocalyptic film with um, Ellen Page and Evan Rachel Wood. Um, I can't remember the title, but they're basically like sisters and basically the apocalypse happened and then it's all about them. And this is the house that they they live in. And um, at, least, at least this is not like an exact, exact replica in the slightest. Basically, this is like an inspired by the how large the windows were, how like picturesque their entire... Um, area was there was this very like naturalist vibe that I got from it and I really really loved it um one of the small facts about me I don't know if I said it in another video before but I actually like in real life I don't like houses with lots of windows like I love windows like I'm actually my like right in front of a window right now but um I don't like 
root like houses that are like completely like all windows I don't know for some reason that's like a horror edge to me <laughs> it's kind of like something that I find kind of scary and I don't really know why if you guys have a similar fear let me know because <laughs> I don't know if maybe it's just a me thing it could be just a me thing but who knows <laughs> but um yeah this house was kind of inspired by a very like um not in a horror way at all it's actually supposed to be very um kind of like calming and some of the, one of the things that I really want to get with this house was sort of a very like um like a yogi kind of vibe a very naturalist kind of vibe um those sorts of things and um that's kind of what I wanted to get within this particular build this build actually came with a lot of challenges for me um there's quite a few things particularly with this build that I was just I was having a lot of difficulties with um mostly because like the house is actually on an angle so there's like this like the kitchen was giving me a lot of trouble I was having a lot of trouble with the kitchen just because um some of the things don't like um connect like some of the counters and stuff like that don't connect properly when they're on an angle and so nothing's very even and it's really frustrating on like when you're trying to get things to work but when the walls are slightly stretched and when um I don't know basically it's kind of a mess and you're gonna see me play with um the counters here and then you'll notice that there is this kind of I'm trying to get it to sync up and make it look even but it's not looking even and it was just it was uh, very much a source of frustration for me and um but otherwise I think the space is really awesome I do like how the kitchen looks and I like how everything kind of turned out I did try to make it as even as I possibly could I don't know if I fixed the counter so um but <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um this is actually on a 40 by 30 lot I don't know how much it costs it's a one bedroom one bath so this is mostly meant for um a single sim but I don't know if it's like you definitely could have like a couple sim in here you could probably add like an addition on and um have another bedroom but otherwise this is more supposed to be for like a single sim and um yeah <laughs> so um yeah this house was kind of just I really wanted to get that really like naturalist kind of edge but I wanted to have like a lot of like home comforts and I really wanted to have sort of these like really nice like glassware and all that just just nice things that's what I particularly wanted but um yeah so not much is happening with me right now I hope you guys are having like fantastic end of summer or I guess there's some people who are back to school right now which is crazy like I'm starting um my third year of university in like two or three weeks and there are like people who are like oh back to school and I'm like that's just so far away <laughs> and um one of the nice parts about university is the fact well it's kind of like a gift and a curse like a double-edged sword almost at the same time because while you have um four months off it's also four months off so basically your entire life just ends up becoming like for example my entire summer became a work summer you know I was trying to progress myself at work there's a lot of things that I'm doing at work that I didn't have as a job before and I was taking a lot of hours earning a lot of money and um and there's a little bit of a repetitive rut to it and um kind of the like I'm thinking about how I'm going to be doing driving um, classes sometime like this week and I'm just like man I'm not ready to go back to school <laughs> like I I'm doing some of the like homework and stuff like that like um apparently I have to have 10 hours of homework due for tomorrow and I'm just like I can't <laughs> there's no way it's gonna get done but um yeah <laughs> And I'm just, I'm not used to having a little bit of a workload. And then I'm just thinking about how I have to start practicing my German again because I'm really behind. I haven't been practicing at all this summer. And that was one of my goals for this summer. I was like, okay, I'm going to practice my German this summer. Make sure that I don't um, fall behind because I fell behind really, really quickly um, with my German this year. I don't really know why I did so poorly with German this year I think like especially like in terms of my progress between Latin and German like Latin it was a breeze I had like it was I found it incredibly like easy like it was struggling I was definitely struggling in compared to some of the Greek students that were in the class and they were like they're having conversations in like Latin well not really they were just reciting like poetry about killing each other <laughs> If you've been in Latin, then you probably know or have done like Greek or Latin. You know that it's basically a fun time all around. And um, <laughs> versus, but yeah, 
I love um, actually doing language studies. I really recommend um, doing language studies at some point in your educational career. I think it's a lot of fun. I think um, it teaches you a new way of thinking. Um, I think that it kind of... Um, I think one of the things when I didn't do um, French in high school, which is which is alright, I wasn't a big fan of French anyways, I absolutely despised it. <laughs> um, I think like the big change for me when I did university and um, I started doing languages and stuff like that is it really taught me a new way of thinking, how languages worked. Um, I don't know if it approved my English, but um, it does give me a better understanding of how the English language worked that I didn't know before, which um, like, I don't know if it's the same in other countries, but I know particularly here in Canada, um, the sort of language education system is very lacking. Um, you know, I think I remember doing the, the Le Chef um, thing, like, every single year. And it's, like, this project where, um, <laughs> it's this project where you basically, like, um, you have, like, um, you're a chef, you run your restaurant, and then you have to basically make up a series of recipes and you have to, like, translate them all into French. So it's kind of, it's basically the dumbest thing ever, and <laughs> we had to do it basically, like, every year. And every year, people would just go to the, like, um, babel fish and they would just put in the recipe and then they would just, like, automatically translate it and everyone did it. And that's just because we were dumb kids and <laughs> and we didn't have really like any sort of better understanding and um of how languages worked and how like they're kind of important but um yeah that's <laughs> that's um canadian that's a little like i don't know sneak peek into like canadian lives <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're kind of moving on into the kind of the backyard here, and I really wanted to do sort of this like naturalist, again, like a really natural vibe. Um, I really love the outdoorsy look. I really took advantage of the outdoor retreat trees and stuff like that. I think this is one of those, um, builds where like if you download the pack, I think you definitely well, not download the pack, but if you download this house, and you know how sometimes if you're missing a few packs, usually you can't really tell. Um, I think this particular build, I think the beautiful trees that come with outdoor retreat is something that's definitely an essential with this build i think this makes this house look really really great and um i don't know i'm really into just kind of like i don't know um i don't even know what i was trying to say <laughs> but um i just really want to do this sort of wild kind of look and i was having a lot of fun doing it and um I think it looks really, really nice in terms of just when you go down low, you take a nice shot of the house, and you've got all these big looming trees, and even though it doesn't exactly fit with um, the get-together um, island, I think it still looks, I, th I still think it looks pretty nice, but um, yeah. <laughs> So right now I'm just moving, yeah, like I said, I'm moving on to the backyard. I do like this cute little, like, pond thing. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these. I've actually, well, I've done one of these before. And um, it was actually in a build that I did, like, a really, really, like, long time ago. And, like, um, it was sort of like this, like, cabney cottage. And it was, like, um, this is when I played The Sims exclusively just to um, create. <laughs> okay, this is so dumb. But, um... Basically, like, what I've always done with The Sims is, like, I take my favorite characters from favorite TV shows, favorite, like, comic books, and all that sort of stuff, and, um, I basically, like, make them, and then I'd play their lives because I'm creepy, and that's what I like to do. <laughs> and basically, I made a house, and I had this, like, pond, and it was supposed to be very, like, um, BBC Merlin-esque because I love that show, I absolutely adore it, and, um, yeah, basically, that's... Uh, I'm shaming myself currently right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wanted to do something kind of similar, and I did, like, um, this kind of cool little pond thing. I hope it, like, actually, like, I think you guys like it. I, hopefully you guys will like it, too. I kind of, like, I really like it personally. And, um, I don't know if it's, like, exactly functional just because I do put in a lot of, like, other things. And there's the diving board, and so you at least get that. And there's, um, I really wish that I actually had the, um, romantic, um, the romantic pack, what's it called? Like the romantic stuff pack or something like that. I don't have that and I really wish that I did have it just so that I could have like all this cool little pawn stuff. Um, so unfortunately I don't, but um, hopefully sometime t soon I will be getting um, more of these stuff packs. I don't know about right now just because I have spent a lot of money this month. Like I've bought a new desk, I've paid in the whole sum of my um, driving school already, which was a lot of money and um, 
basically like I do have money, but it's also like, yikes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, I spent too much money, but um, yeah, so we're actually kind of like nearing the end here. Um, I'm just gonna do my small little spiel thing. Um, if you do like this build, feel free to leave a like in the down below. Feel free to leave a comment if you do like this build, um, which I hope that you do. Um, if you ever want to get into contact with me, I have all my other like social media down in the description box below. And if you want to check out my other speed builds, um, go check them out because I have a lot of them and I hope you guys like them. <laughs> and um, yeah, subscribe to my channel and all that sort of little fun stuff but um yeah so right now I'm just kind of finishing up a little bit of the backyard here I do this like yoga podium thing I don't know if like that's like a thing but um what inspired me was like for that particular thing was like um I don't know it was quite a while ago and I watched this sort of like I liked watching shows about like cool homes and stuff like that and basically this one lady she's like oh I like I'm a professional yoga teacher and <laughs> um she had this like podium in the middle of like her giant like however many acre property and then she just does her like yoga on this like rock thing and I was like that's that's exactly what I was trying to get for <laughs> trying to get with this build but um yeah we're nearing the end here so I really hope that you guys like this build I am sorry for disappearing on you guys and I hope to be doing a lot more speed builds for you guys and hopefully nothing terrible happens and I can continue doing speed builds up until during my school year and stuff like that, which I'm really nervous but <laughs> if I can. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this speed build and I will see you guys in my next speed build, which I hope you guys will really, really like. So bye everyone.